Hiya. Do you mind if I take a quick photo of you? I like the whole environment around here, it looks good. What is it for? Uh, well, anything. I can send you the photo, you can use it if you want to. Good. Just the flowers and the trees and the bike, it's just a nice little vibe that you've got going on. We've got to about 24. Nice, it looks good. Let's go straight on. Symmetry with the building looks good. Hey, these are simple. <laughs> this is a new profile picture for sure. <laughs> do, you want, do you want me to give you your email or something? Yeah, sure. You can send it over to you. We'll pop your email in here. I mean, you might like them, you might not. <laughs> simple photos though. Yeah. Sometimes the simple ones are the effective <laughs> ones. Cool. Thanks. I'll send that over today or later Brilliant. on or tomorrow. Yeah, whatever. yeah, no worries. Nice one. Take care. Have a good day. You too. Okay, super looking forward to this um, GoPro POV video. We're using the Canon M50. Now this little camera gets a lot of questions, a lot of comments, a lot of DMs about it. Is it good for street photography? Is it good for vlogging? Well, today we're gonna put it through its paces, testing out the street photography. I think it shoots at about 24 megapixel, which is even more megapixels than, um, I could be wrong with that, but I think it's more megapixels than my Canon R6. Um, the Canon R6 shoots at 20 megapixels, but this is crop. The Canon R6 is a mirrorless full frame camera, so it doesn't need as many megapixels but i think the point of this video is to test out if you're new to street photography or you're new to photography in general is the m50 worth buying let's see what the photos are like today i'm in london i'm going to be shooting for about an hour or two let's see what kind of photos we can get and uh, yeah you guys are going to see the hands-on experience with them um, with what it's like shooting with the kit lens the 15 to 45 15 to 45 that's right okay let's do it so first shot i'm going to get is the classic look up we're going to go ISO at 100, f-stop at 11, shut speed of 1125, that looks exposed to me. Oh, it's on a timer. Why is it on a timer? <laughs> Drive mode, single shooting, that's good, okay. All right, let's try again. Ooh, really liking this shot. What is cool about the M50 is that the kit lens, the 15, the 15 mil is wide enough to take some good photos, which um, I think I'm quite surprised at. The 15 mil is cropped, so I don't know what it is. Um, it's the equivalent of maybe close to like a 24 mil. But um, yeah, I'm noticing that this 15 mil is definitely wide enough to get some fancy lookup shots. So let's check these out. A little bit underexposed, I'm gonna drop the f-stop to about eight. That's very nice. Boom, really like that. This camera is super small and compact. I'm used to shooting on either the A2D or the Canon R6, and this is like half the size of cameras like that. So, um, so I think I'm gonna go a little bit more unnoticed. Boom, that's lovely. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go a little bit more unnoticed with today's street photography, because no one's gonna really notice a camera this size. So I'm gonna say that's nice. After every photo I take today, I know it. <laughs> What's making this process easy for me is the fact that I have shot on Canon cameras for like the last six years. So um, I am familiar with the interface. I am familiar with how it feels. Um, nothing is very alien to this process for me. So uh, this should be quite an easy day taking photos. So typically with lookup shots, you want to be as wide as possible. So if you are shooting on a lens that goes to like 24, 15, 16, 10 mil, all those kind of focal lengths look great. Um, so obviously this is at a 15 and 15 mil is definitely wide enough for some nice lookup shots. F-stop of about eight. Let's get as much in as focus as possible. The sky is looking nice. Boom. Let's try and move around a little bit more because these photos are all looking very similar at this point. I do actually want to double check that this shoots in RAW. I've not even checked that. Let's go to the menu. Let's go to the shooting. Yeah, image quality, RAW. And then we've got JPEGs at the bottom, RAW, and then compressed RAW. So um, yeah, I should, probably should have checked that out before I started shooting, but we move. This is a... This is a nice angle here. Underexposed a little bit, let's just brighten that up. Bring the f-stop down to about five. Focus on screen here. Boom, that's really nice. What's helping with these photos is the fact that the sky is blue and there's a little bit of cloud, so there's a couple of details and clarity up there. Let's get low down here. Oh, this is nice. I'm gonna wait for Sam to move out of frame. <laughs> he heard me, lovely job. Gherkin looking nice, using these, using the yellow lines to get some leading lines action going on. Boom, very nice. This 15 mil is actually really good for wide shots. It's really good. So it's the equivalent of about 20, 24, isn't it? Somewhere within what that. Have you got so far? Yeah, look at that. Like, you ain't gonna know if that photo there, you can't tell if that's taken on a. You can't tell the difference. So this is 24, I think that's 24 as well, megapixels. Yeah. Both cropped. 
Yeah, like these lookup shots are very standard shots. You can't really go wrong with them. You get your f-stop right. Oh, that's quality. Yeah, it's ridiculous, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Super impressed with how this Canon M50 feels so far. Get a classic shot of the Gherkin. ISO 100, f-stop of eight, shutter speed one two five, three two one. Nice. Let's go down here, just underneath the Lloyd's building. I took a photo of my Canon R6 the other week from an angle like around here. It looked kind of sick, so let's take a similar sort of thing. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Focus. Boom. Very cool. What about over here? Focus, tap on screen to focus where I want it. Boom. Very nice. Just walked about 100 meters across the road from the Lloyds building where we were just taking the look up shots over there. And there's a few skyscrapers around this area, which is gonna create a nice look up shot. So I have faith that this Canon M50 at 15 mil is gonna do a good job of this. Um, so let's see what these shots look like. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. if you get a wide lens on, Great to go yes, it kind of, looks, kind of looks like that. Give, give it a couple, of, give it a few weeks, and you'll be able, you should be able to book into the about April time. Okay. Yeah, the viewing gallery will be open on the 58th floor. Oh. On which building? Bishop's Gate, 22. And there's, there will, there's actually going to be a restaurant up there as well. Oh, even better, grab some food over there. And a bar on level 60. And That's if open. Boris is kind to us. See ya. What a lovely bloke, he seemed positive about the whole COVID situation. Wow, really loving these lookup shots. Jesus, these are just as good as what I would take on my full frame camera. I think I got enough lookup shots here to last me 365 days of daily posts on Instagram. Let's run down these stairs, let's get even lower. We can get an even wider perspective. We're literally in the depths now. Oh my God. Oh, that shot is beautiful really like how these are looking okay cool i think that's enough wide angle look up shots with the m50 let's head to an area with a bit more population test this bad boy out with you know some portraits some photos of some strangers somewhere with a little bit more activity all right we're now at bank I love this and this is open. oh yeah let's get it anyway f stop of about four that's nicely exposed we're gonna punch into about 18 mil see if we can put an, a nice moody edit on this bank station shot that might look quite nice normally this area is absolutely booming but obviously there's hardly anyone around there's a guy walking down here i don't like the uh, the texture on the building so he's probably going to walk into my frame so we're punching at about 35 mil perfectly exposed Let's see if we can get him walking by nice Sometimes you don't want to shoot your photos too sharp either. So there's a little bit of motion blur on his feet, um, but that, that keeps it natural, you know? It doesn't make the photos super sharp, but it also means the photo isn't really blurry. So a bit of natural motion blur sometimes doesn't do any harm. This guy looks cool. You seen these guys up here though? Yeah, Why is there a bunch of dogs holding cameras? Come on, geezer, let's get a portrait of you, bad boy. F-stop, 3.5, shutter speed. Come on, work it, girl, work it. What's the angle? Oh, nice, 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 nice. Three, two, one. Thank you. Sky's looking quite nice up here. Let's punch into about 24 mil. ISO, 100. F, really? F11. I said, let's keep going, 35 mil. Sky looking great. Might need to go to F14, actually. Three, two, three, two, one. 35 mil. That's nice. Hold that for me. This is a nice little one second. No, no, I want you in. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Low depth of field, 3.5, ISO over 100. It's getting nice. Do you want to look to the left? Okay. It's getting nice. That's some nice simple portraits of Sam here. It's face on portrait, be bold. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Actually, looks kind of cool. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see if we can get hand in shot. Let's go. What do they look like? They're kind of cool. What's your ideal panning shot shutter speed? I'm on 1 30th. You don't know. This, this do guy's know. good. 125, 25%. Yeah, very similar. Let's get this bike. Okay, so the only way to Ooh, there's birds in that shot as well. It's very mediocre, I think, these shots. What are you saying, Sam? Anything good? I never take mediocre shots. Oh, the confidence. Apart from that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Skate boy. Yeah. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Do you mind if I take a quick photo of you? I like the whole environment around here, it looks good. Uh, well, anything. I can send you the photo, you can use it if you want to. Just the flowers and the trees and the bike. It's just a nice little vibe that you've got going on. We'll go to about 24. Nice, it looks good. Let's go straight on. Symmetry with the building looks good. Hey, these are simple. This is a new profile picture for sure. <laughs> Do you, want, do you want me to give your email or something yeah, sure. you can send it over to you? We'll pop your email in here. I mean, you might like them, you might not. <laughs> simple photos though. Yeah. Sometimes the simple ones are the effective <laughs> ones. I like your bike, is this your bike? Yeah. yeah. I mean, the core of your bike, the outfit, where you're sat. <laughs> just a nice vibe. Cool. Thanks. I'll send that over today or later on or tomorrow. Yeah, whatever. yeah, no worries. Nice one. Take care. Have a good day. You too. Like a really minimal moody edit. Again, what? Again. Wide. Symmetry. Oh, that looks sick actually with the bike. Yeah, the oh, symmetry. Too sick. Yeah, stoked on that. These are cool. A few more steps ahead. We've walked further down from Bank. This is now one new change shopping centre. Obviously, it's extremely busy. The shops are thriving, obviously. But there is a nice shot just through here on the right. We're going to look up at. Uh, St. Paul's and then you'll see a nice reflection on the side of these glass buildings. So check this out This is a very this is a very popular spot amongst London photographers We're shooting it 1 200 f-stop. Let's go f-stop of 8 short speed of what we're we saying short speed of 180 tap in the middle let's get that get it focused 3 2 1 Really nice shot super simple Super effective. Let's go for a wide shot as well. Nice and simple. Let's get nice and low. This 15 mil wide lens really coming in clutch. Three, two, one. Looking great. What about looking up here? A lot of reflections going on. F5 exposed for the highlights. Maybe even go shutter speed of one, two, five. Let's go to f7.1. That's cool. So that reflection shot there of St. Paul's was very cliche. You might have seen pretty much every London photographer has taken that photo at least once. But for the sake of demonstration, showing you what the M50 can do, why not? Why not take a photo like that? So we're just going to head around just outside of the shopping centre. There's a nice garden area. Some Oh, scaffold in a building site by the looks of it. But St. Paul's does generally look quite nice from this sort of direction, so we'll see what we can get. Nice clear sky, nothing in frame to distract it. We'll punch in at about 30 mil, frame it using the thirds. We're gonna tap on screen to focus near the top of the spire. Boom, that's nice. We'll get a wide shot as well while we're here. I'm gonna position each spire in the left and right third, and then boom, see what that looks like. Not too shabby, I don't think try to get more of an iconic shot let's see if we can get a red bus in frame nice and lit in the foreground and then St Paul's in the background as well the M50 is definitely the 15mm is definitely wide enough we're gonna go for a short speed of about 1 3 20 so the bus is nice and sharp and not blurred aperture of about 7.1 because we want most of the frame to be in focus and then we're gonna lift the ISO to about 400 so then I just need you know, a red bus to fill this frame here. 
So now we wait for Red Bus. <laughs> Uh, there's a London taxi here as well, which is iconic enough, I think. Let's wait for the white Range Rover to go by. London taxi in the middle of the frame. Boom. That's kind of cool. Don't mind that. But a red bus is definitely going to complete the shot. I don't want to waste too much time doing this, but I'm going to lower the shutter speed to one fourth. I'm going to have to bump the f-stop to 22. Let's see what we can get here. Frame. Steady hand. What did they look like? Short speed of one four. Oh, that was sweet. Really like that one. Okay, success. Opposite St. Paul's, we've got Millennium Bridge. Let's see what kind of photos we can get of the landscapes around us. The shard looking quite moody over there. Punch in to about 35 mil. One, two, five to keep a nice sharp shot. Aperture, 5.6, looks nice. Frame the shard in the middle. Simple shot. I'll do the job. Let's get a vertical shot as well. That's a slight reflection there in the water. Nothing crazy, but it does look kind of cool. Simple. Oh wow, leading lines on the bridge here. Looking right at St Paul's, let's get that. Very simple, but effective. Let's use the bridge. Let's get, let's get lower down, closer to the bridge. Boom. Silhouette shot of this building over here. We'll punch in to about 40 mil. The sky's lit behind it. S simple silhouette of the buildings. Very cool. We'll punch in at about 24 mil. We got Sam's bag, same colour as St Paul's. Very simple. I like it. I like it a lot. It is gonna absolutely chuck it down shortly. So the clouds are looking super moody. Let's not hang around too much. Bit of depth of field on these lines. Alright, London's looking super moody now. Let's punch in at 45 mil. Get St. Paul's in focus. That's cool. Nice. It's getting dangerous now with how, how moody the weather's looking. I think any second now we're going to get rained on heavy. So let's shoot a photo of this cluster of skyscrapers over there. Clouds looking seriously dangerous. That's kind of cool, nice and wide. Let's keep going. St. Paul's looks quite moody as well. Let's get that in there. Boom, very nice. Let's get a photo of the cheese grater and all of the buildings around it. Nothing, nothing like insane about these photos, but I just don't know something about it. They're just pretty cool, nice.